All right, you guys, we are back home and I have the haul after our trip. So I'm gonna show you guys what I all got while we were on a little mini vacation, I guess. Um, and yeah, so here are those boots that I got. I did pick up some shoes. A lot of them were so overpriced, but I got these vintage boots. I love selling vintage boots and you can definitely tell it's vintage. It has a leather sole, um, it even has nails in there. That to me denotes high quality and it says the brand is Chandler's. So made in Uruguay for Chandler's. And so I do well with vintage boots and these did not have a price, but when I asked, I think she said $8.99. I was good with that. So here are those boots. Really nice leather. I paid up for these for sure, but I um, expect these to sell. I know that these will sell. So these are some born ankle booties, a little side cut out, a nice suede, really great condition, and I paid $10, so $9.99 for these. These are, let's see if I can find the size. These are size seven. So yeah, really, really nice. And I think that these will sell anywhere between 30, and no, I'm sorry, 40 and $50. So I'll make a little bit of profit on those. And, ooh, these were my find. So these um, are $5.99. And they have this harness style right here. Really, really thick, nice quality leather. Great bottom. And I got these for $5.99. These are by the brand Fry. And you can barely see it right there on the heel. Let's see. Right here. That is the Fry logo right here. Um, I'm trying to see if I can find it anywhere else. No, but I definitely am going to clamp the toes. These were um, a really great find. Harness Style does it really well. Fry is a really great brand to sell. So yeah, look out for Fry boots. Here are some more boots that I purchased. I've sold this exact style maybe two times before. So this is by the brand Soft S. O F F T. Um, let's see. Oh, I think I paid yeah seven ninety nine for these. Oh, so if these are seven ninety nine, the um, vintage boots were also seven ninety nine. So the lady at the checkout said, "Is that okay if they're priced the same?" And I said, "Yes," um, because a lot of the boots and shoes were way overpriced there. So they are really cute with a scalloped detail right here. Really nice comfort brand. So this I'm expecting to get again between $40 and $50 for those boots. It might not be the season, but um, they didn't, sorry. So it's interesting how they um, marked the items. They didn't do it individually. They did it by the color. So it says the quantity of how many I got. And I think, I don't think anything I got was really on sale. So, here's the shoes. So that was the shoes. Now we will get on to the belts and scarves. So the belts were priced at $2, $1.99. And the scarves were also priced at $1.99, which is a little bit better sometimes than my store. But, um, so this is by the brand Capezio. I know it might be backwards, but this is a vintage brand with nice leather. And I thought this one was fun with the different colored leathers. That would be a great vintage um, staple belt. And it has a solid brass buckle. Here is another belt. So this one is by... 
um, Lauren Ralph Lauren. It has the logo right there. It says Lauren Ralph Lauren right here. This one is a size. Hmm. I'm not sure, but again, a solid brass buckle. If you're looking for buckles, solid brass buckle is definitely a key term to look out for. Here is a belt. I'm not even sure if it has a, oh yes it does, um, Banana Republic. So I don't know if I actually saw that Banana Republic, but I think I would pick this up even if it wasn't branded because it is really nice leather and it's stitched. So when people look at it, they would like the style. Um, but yeah, again, it does say Solid Brass and Banana Republic on the buckle. This one is size small. So when I'm listing belts, I will put the size, but then how much um, it measures from the first buckle to the last buckle. So what size weights it can fit. I did grab this Talbot's belt. It does have a little bit of wear. Like, I know I can definitely um, condition the leather a little bit here. It just feels a little bit more bendy, I guess you can say, than a um, newer belt. But I, I like picking up red leather things like purses and belts and it says a Italian alligator calfskin so a lot of great keywords right there with Italian and this is a size large so a good size um and then this one I think is Eddie Bauer yeah Eddie Bauer extra large great size for belts to pick up a really fun woven print and genuine leather at the both ends right there. I'm thinking this is also solid brass. It doesn't say on there, but there's that one. It's a skinny belt. And I picked up this for my little curly headed girl. She, um, I don't have curly hair as you can see. So I'm learning all about curly hair and it is definitely fun. She has the most beautiful curly hair ever. So I'm learning to take care of that. Here is a hand rolled silk scarf. So here you can see the edging right there. That is definitely something to look out for when looking at scarves is the hand rolled edges. And this one does not have a name that I saw anywhere. A lot of times with older vintage scarves, you won't even get a tag, but it will be signed somewhere in the fabric print. This one is not, but this is a very pretty colorway with the reds and yellows and blues like poppies. So I did pick that one up. And this one I picked up for $1.99 as well. Ooh, these are so my colors. Um, and this one is Club 7 by Echo. I do well with Echo scarves, but you guys, look at how pretty this is. Paisley and roses and that blush pink. It's really pretty and it feels like a wool blend like a very fine wool blend so it feels like really great quality as well it does not have the fiber content on it but my mom um she's a seamstress and when i was growing up she used to like burn different fabrics and do different things with that to figure out fiber content if it was natural or silk so i know that you can do things like that to test out fabrics um, this one is Christopher and Banks. It is polyester, but really pretty. Let's show you this one. And I usually like picking up scarves if, I mean, if it's pretty, stylish, and it has a brand 
because a lot of people are brand loyal. So there's that one, like a zebra print. This one I had to get, it has giraffes on it and it's vintage. It does not appear to have a rolled hem. I'll show you. Looks like it is just sewn. So it's not um, like whip stitched. And let's see, the brand is called Symphony Scarves, right there. And it is polyester, made in Italy. So keyword, made in Italy. And there are people that love their giraffe and giraffe print. Maybe someone who's going on safari and wants to prepare for their trip. Ooh, okay, this one is so pretty. There is that one. I think this is the last thing that I got at that Goodwill. So yes, all in all, I spent $57, but look at these tulips. Oh, so pretty. And this definitely feels like silk, but it might not be. Let's see. Uh, Chemtrade Holland po Silky Polyester, it's called. But this is gorgeous. I got it because it is gorgeous. <laughs> and perfect for spring. It does have a little pull. I wonder if I can kind of pull it out a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see, but this is stunning nonetheless. Really pretty. So yeah, there's that. And now let's get on to the antique store stuff. I won't show you guys everything because it is a lot. My three-year-old helped me. Um, some of the things, because it was so um, cheaply priced, there were some things she was like, Mom, I want to get this. And I was like, okay, fine. Like a mirror, it was a mirror with a lipstick container attached for $4. And I was like, yes, put it in. And uh, like a butterfly brooch and it was marcasite. So I was like, yes, because I know she's going to forget about it and then I can sell it. At this ring, I really like um, middle finger statement rings. So what she did was she put how many items that I got for what the price was. So this I think was the cheapest um, bag that I picked up and then 20% off of the 125 and I got them, I got 22 items. So let's just take a peek at what I picked out. These are probably a dollar, about a dollar each. So that really great price. Um, okay, so I got, this one is JJ brooch, a bar brooch with faux pearls. This is a Sarah Coventry necklace. And I can always tell Sarah Coventry because it has the diamond hang tag right there. And then just almost seems like it's mimicking the celluloid, celluloid flower um, beads. Ooh, I don't think these are marked but they are rhinestone, AB rhinestone brooches, two of them in like a swirled leaf pattern. I do well with rhinestone brooches. This, let's see, what is this? This one is Liz Claiborne. I do really well with Liz Claiborne. I think I sold a choker Liz Claiborne necklace for like 30 or $40 um, recently. So here's a pearl Liz Claiborne necklace for about a dollar. And then this one is a Mo, oh, trif Trifari, uh, two-tone twisted rope necklace. This one is Lisner, I no, Coro, sorry, Coro, yeah, oh, I don't even think I was showing you guys, um, and it has a really large pendant with a very large faux pearl, 
and some pieces by Coro can go for crazy amounts of money depending on if it's really highly collectible or rare. So for a dollar, I grabbed this one. This one is, I'm wondering if this one is, um, oh, this one's just Chico's. So I could probably get like 12 bucks for this Chico's uh, necklace. Here is, um, Mo, it says Monet 24 inch necklace and pierced earring set. So this is a set Monet chain. I've sold a Monet chain, like thick chains like this for again, like 30 to $40. So this one, great. This one is not branded. It's just these Fleur de Lis. Um, there's the back. Nice vintage free Fleur de Lis brooch. Easy to list. This one was interesting. I grabbed it. I thought it was pretty. No brand, but it's like artsy, art to wear, blingy, fun. Um, is this another Sarah Coventry? Yes, I think. Yep, another Sarah Coventry necklace in there. This one I looked up. It's sterling silver. It's not a Maltese cross. It is more Celtic. And uh, I looked these up and I think they're selling for $35 on the website. But this says $19.96. So I will probably price it for like $25. Yeah, for a dollar. That's pretty good. This one looks to be sterling silver and real turquoise. So I grabbed that one. This one definitely uh, needs, it has some flaws. It's a Lisner, but it is a huge statement Lisner piece. So I'm kind of, I kind of, I'm taking a chance on it because there is some little paint chipping marks. Great, we are getting through these. Um, a little butterfly my daughter grabbed. <laughs> I wonder if it's sterling actually. The the middle part kind of looks sterling. This one is 1925. Nice um, vintage style cameo, floral cameo, and you can tell it's by the brand night. I'm sorry, did I say 1925? 1928. It has the that swirl um, embossed mark on the back. Uh, my daughter picked this one out for her sister. Her favorite color is orange. I can probably sell this for like $5 if I want to, but again, fun for my kids. And here is a Napier bracelet that goes with another Napier necklace that I have, but this I thought was really interesting because it is two-toned. My daughter grabbed this and called it her treasure. But this is um, uh, something that holds your, either can hold your cape, if you're wearing a cape, or a cardigan. So it has two buttons and then a chain that goes in the middle. And I've sold a lot of these before. So they do sell. Not for a ton of money, but they sell. All right, three more things. This is another Sarah Coventry necklace. This looks long a copper clown uh, brooch and this really pretty bow brooch with rhinestones in it and it is like a 3d um, bow brooch so there's that one all right this one is three dollars it says I got 27 items it was so much fun you guys I only got to like the first booth and then quickly went along to the other booths okay of course I had to get the Cloisonne earrings really pretty I know that they don't sell for a lot but I really enjoy them and I enjoy looking at them and 
So I I paid 20% off of $3. What is that? Two, $2.40? I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> um, so there's that one. Here is a Napier necklace. Is this called... No, this is not a snail link. I don't know what link type of um, link this is. But, yeah, pretty. Um, okay, this one, I think I'm going to make my own price for. This is a heavy brass pendant. This is Noah's Ark. Oh, maybe I should keep this and go to... Um, Noah's Ark again because we went to the Ark Encounter this past year before we moved and went camping down there and that would be fun. I, we really liked it. The kids got a little scared because um, there was a lot of thunder and lightning because it tried to simulate like if you're really on it but it was it was fun. Um, so yeah there's this one and then these like faux iridescent pearls right there but yeah this is like a really uh, nice brass pendant here is the napier necklace this um is a i need help with this okay so this is like a puffed 3d pair but it is marked really small right here, P-I-E-R, or something B-I-E-R. I'm thinking that this was soldered over Napier. That is my thought. But I cannot find any brooches by Napier that looks like this. So if you know anything about this, like leave it in the comments of what this can be. But I did grab that one for sure. Grabbed this brooch. Looks Ecuadorian or something really fun. Bright, colorful dolls. I got two collars. I've never sold these before, but they are stunning. These beaded vintage collars with the hook and eye. This one says handmade top hit fa fashions bare beards ink so these are really nice here's the other one i love selling vintage things like this like really i really do okay This one I think is a Lisner. It has these like almost moon glowy cabochons in there. Cranberry. And I just take it out. This looks like a Lisner style. Ooh, and it has the earrings. Here's the earrings. And this one, yep, yeah, Lisner. All the Lisner that I've had, though, um, I feel like kind of deterior deteriorate. It might just be what I've had. But this one it seems to be in great shape. So, yeah, really pretty. There's those. Some white Trifari earrings. Clip-on. Interesting. This big vintage ring has rhinestones in there um faux pearls it's not marked but it definitely is a statement cocktail ring and it's adjustable this one i don't see a mark on it but it, i think that someone who's a painter would really like this again really cool with the rhinestones and then this one is, yes, this one is Joan Rivers with these hammered silver tone discs. Oh, 
still more. Okay, ooh, I'm seeing some neat things. Okay, forgot what I got. Okay, this one is really pretty. It says, handmade by Pekka Menkinen in Finland. So it's this wood inlay, but it has these, they're like dyed, it's dyed wood. So this is like an artisan piece. It has the sticker on the back, which I thought was really cool. Didn't even look it up, but I thought it was really pretty and I buy things that I think are cool. And that's the fun part of it. Um, these are by the brand Monet and you wouldn't know because Monet does this thing where it puts its name under the little backing or it could put it on, on here. So I got these rhinestone Monet earrings. I thought that they were unique and interesting and you wouldn't know that they're Monet until you look at it. So these are signed. This I definitely had to get. A Damascene pendant. Is that a dragon? A serpent? I'm not sure. But really, really pretty. This I'm going to be testing if this is real jade. Um, it doesn't feel that cold. But I did get my Presidium gem, gem Tester, and this looks to be real jade. So there's that one. This one I thought was interesting. It is not marked, but it's really nice quality and really great condition. Really unique looking. Um, here is a little Coisonay family reading together it says Barbara Lavelle and it's a little pin and I picked up a few different artisan style and I might lock these together they might be by all by the same artist but really really I like these like this is totally my thing not marked but they're all on like brass so that's mixed metals brass copper well here's one here is another and it has that green patina on it i think that's plastic and then this one so these look would look really great all together in a lot or I might keep them because I just think they're really cool help me bring back the bro oh maybe I can add this one too yeah I don't know how to wear brooches but I wish that they would come back this one was marked a J C and it's a computer <laughs> Got that one this one is like an art piece vintage art piece Thought that was funky retro mod. Um, Chico's earrings. I like selling Chico's. Probably will get like 10, 12, 15 bucks for those. But this one is interesting. I've never heard of it, so I grabbed it. This is by the brand Star Brand. Looks lizardy to me yellow and orange and then it has this and it's also marked star on the hook so yeah I definitely am going to be researching this I like selling orange vintage things they tend to do well for me so I grabbed that and then I do have a whole kit um, a whole watch kit where I can change out watch batteries and this one's by the brand Pulsar and I just thought that it was really pretty compared to other Pulsar watches good condition and it had like oh, my Rolo my Rolo is talking to me um, 
really pretty like rhinestones in there. So really nice looking vintage watch. Okay. All right, this one I believe was um, one dollar and let's see, one dollar and twenty percent off, so eighty cents each. It was like a big giant tub. Uh, it was like a giant jewelry jar that you could just sit through, and I picked the things I liked and set them to the side. So here is a Monet blue navy blue cabochon bracelet. Here is a brooch with leaves being raked. I like selling brooches. They're really easy to list. I don't know. I don't know if this one's signed. I don't think so. Um, here is another brooch by Monet. Probably get around $10. $10, 12 for that one. Here is a clamper bracelet but it is dolphin and they have rhinestone eyes and all the rhinestones are there so that is fun that one was great okay this one is a abalone carved heart necklace and it appears to be sterling findings but I would have to test those out, but little abalone chunks. There's that one. Here is um, a ring and what is this called? Lamp? No, it's not lamp work. It's not Millie Fiori. Is it Millie Fiori? With the little uh, flowers in there? Yeah, it might be Millie Fiori. So that was an interesting little fun ring for 80 cents. And I got this um, really pretty pin. And a lot of, sometimes I guess, sometimes these can actually be a genuine stone, like a genuine ruby or something like that. So I thought I would test it, but I do like selling pins. This one just was a really pretty bangle. I don't really sell a lot of bangles, but this one had really pretty enameling on it. And so I grabbed it. Um, this is just a Lucky Brand bracelet. Lucky Brand always does this thing where it um, decorates the back metal part of their jewelry so you can always tell but it also says lucky brand right there on the toggle and yeah it also has the four leaf clover right there this one is Monet gold necklace and this one this one is Florenza. It does have, it is missing one stone, but some Florenza can do really well. And I'm, you can just tell it's missing that little tiny stone right there. And we'll see. For 80 cents, I decided to grab it. This one is a Mgent brooch. This is, uh, I don't know if this one's marked, but I thought it was a really neat looking, it looks really art deco to me, maybe because it's black and gold and rhinestone, but also I feel like it was higher quality because it had that little safety clasp there, so I thought this was a nice bangle to pick up. And then this I think was like a fraternity or something like that. I sell p pins and things like that that are by different groups and um, like masons and fraternities and stuff. And people are collectors. 
and they buy things like this. So I thought this was cute. It was, uh, it's called F-O-E with an eagle and it is a vintage rhinestone ring. And then this one, Jerry's. Really abstract. Okay. You know, isn't this so much fun? I could have stayed there all day. My husband was so nice. He's like, yeah, you could. I kept going back and forth from the car, checking on him and the kids and that he would drive them around. And then I would have one of them in with me shopping. And yeah, it was fun. Um, he knows he works a lot, so he knows uh, he's really good about giving me some time. This one was cool. It was like two different metals, artsy, looks like a crafty, uh, crafty piece. So three tone metal heart. And I got two of these where it's bracelets made out of spoons or forks or whatever. And I've sold these before. So yeah, those are interesting. This one I'm thinking is another Lucky Brand. It just has that style. But I will look it up. It has the four leaf clover right there. Big chunky brass. Ooh, I definitely had to get this for 80 cents. A little cloisonne pendant with the butterfly. Uh, look at this. A flamingo with the... This is, an I think, abalone shell or it's called P... P P-A-U-A, -A, Paua shell, something like that. And then rhinestones, and it is a ring. This one is by Danecraft brooch. And then this one is by AJC again. It is like a city... Um, Cityscape. I don't know. I don't even know what city that is. And then two more pieces. One of them I'm highly sad about. That oh, this one's KJL. So Kenneth J. Lane, and it says it right on the toggle again. And it is a gold circle loop bracelet. And this one I was really sad about because I don't know how I didn't see that but I got this ring and it is by the brand Olipop which those rings do really well but it is missing one little stone so I don't even know what you can do with this I'm probably gonna throw it into the crafters lot someone can put something there I don't know but really nice genuine stone heavy nice ring so that one was a little sad I don't know if it like got damaged in the bags or what, but I was taking it out to look at them and yeah. All right, so these I were for $5, but then I got them for 20% off, so they were $4. And this one is Cheryl Teagues. She, I think, is an actress. And it is just a brand new vintage watch. You can see that. And then I also picked up, let's see, this one's called Winter Fur. I think it's a muse, um, it was sold at a museum and it is a vintage watch again. And it has little enameled, like, I don't know if you can see, but little enameled beetles. So we'll see if that works. This one was an awesome find. So a brand new Joan Rivers bracelet and it has really pretty rhinestones, blue rhinestones in there. So that one was great. And then also for four dollars I picked up these um, Someone had written that they're Trifari. They are white seed bead necklace and 
earring set. And I don't know if these are brand new, but in really great condition. Really shiny, shiny. Here's the earrings. That one was nice. And it looks like it was an old, old Boston store. Okay. All right, this bag ripped a little bit. This one, ooh. So I did pay up for this, and it has no brand on it, but it was just so pretty and unique. And I know pretty unique rhinestone-y brooch type things can sell, and it is really nicely detailed. It looks like cattails. I think you would wear it this way, though. So blue and green-ish yellow cattails and enamel right here on the leaves. I'm going to have to, I'm like shocked that there's no mark on this. It is so pretty. So I did get this. I'm going to do a little bit more research on that. I got this cloisonne necklace pendant. Really pretty. I might just keep that one. This looks like another Lisner. Let's see if I can get it. Yep, this is another Lisner. And Chico's. And let's see if there's anything. Ooh, this one was pretty. So this one is by the brand LUC925. So Sterling Genuine Stone. Um, I'm not. I don't know what else but like maybe glass beads I'm gonna have to research this more but I feel like this is a good piece for four dollars and I'll show you maybe like one more really nice this one I think is Austrian black beads really pretty nice really long I think opera length flapper length maybe glass bead necklace yeah so I do have some more but I know I'm running short on time, so I will try to show you guys the hats and skirt, and then we'll wrap that up. So this um, I got for $9, and it is a vintage wool beret, and it has these really cute pops of um, velvet flowers. Really cute. I used to wear berets a lot, actually. Um, I was really into Paris and France and all that. So, there's that one. This one was interesting. It has a feather. And then I got this skirt. Oh, two scarves. The oh, whole stunning. Look at this. Stunning. Stunning silk scarf. And then this one, the silk scarf. So anyways, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe, and leave me a comment down below.